Hi, I'm Giovanna Ventura. Come join me through my workout. I'm currently in Los Angeles. I'm staying here for a month and I'm staying at the W Hotel in Hollywood. I'm here for some work and some castings and you know, I just love spending time in LA. And I found this green apple because you know what they say, one apple a day keeps the doctor away and that's one of my favorite things of staying at the W, that they have a green apple basically in every corner you turn because they want to make sure you keep that doctor away. Okay, anyway. I'm doing a night workout, which I usually prefer my early morning workouts, but when I have very early call time, I still get my body movement at night. Starting by stretching my body, this is my usual stretch, which is a combo of yoga movements, which you can find videos on my channel that focus solely on my pre-gym stretch, yoga videos, and a mix of both yoga stretches. You know I got you, go check it out, you know I gotta do a little promo, whatever. I try to stretch all parts of my body prior to my workout. Taking just eight to 10 minutes is enough. Stretching also gets my mind focused on what I am about to do. It's like a pre-meditation because I really gotta focus on my breathing with each movement and it just feels so good to stretch. I was reading about how incredibly beneficial it is to move and stretch your wrists. Such a simple move but your wrists are connected to all your nerves and veins. These movements help with blood circulation throughout the body, release tension and stress. And obviously, I'm not a doctor over here. This is just research that I've done. And I can say by my own practice that I really do enjoy it and I do feel it. I feel the difference. I feel the tension being released. And it's something that can be done at any time, anywhere. Mommies and puppies, I can't stretch enough how important it is to stretch before working out. It makes everything else flow smoothly, it prevents from getting hurt muscles, helps with soreness, and gets my mind, muscles, body ready for movement. Okay, so we're moving on to the warm-up. These kicks are part of my leg warm-up. We're moving on to the warming up, getting ready for this workout, going for 10 repetitions on each leg. This is something that I actually started implementing in my warm-up recently. I learned it through kickboxing. You know, everything that I learn is through different parts, either reading, doing research, or classes that I've taken, and then I implement those things during my day-to-day -day workouts. And what I notice is that it gets my legs ready for action, helps with balance and focus, and just feels good and fun to do. You can't forget to have fun through doing anything you want to do in life. Hello. Now going to a similar motion, let's go to the swings. No, I'm not talking about dancing swing, baby. I'm talking about doing some swings with your legs. And I know damn right it's going to feel really good. So try it out. 10 repetitions each leg. Honestly, these, like I said, I know I've said this a couple times, but these just feel so good to do. I'm really intrigued to see if you try these warm-ups and let me know what you think or if you've already done these as part of your warm-up and then let me know what you think. Either way, I want to know what you think. Just tell me what you think. Damn, I'm so nosy. I know. Now still warming up, moving on to jumping squats, going for 12 repetitions. I personally love a good old jumping squat. Easy way to get the heart rate up, the blood pumping and the gears on action. I am doing legs and weights tonight, so I gotta make sure that I get these legs ready for action. Let's go on to the alternating toe taps, going for 10 repetitions each side. And yes, this is still all part of the warm-up, girl. Let's get it. We are getting this body ready for the weights and the cardio, so we gotta get that heart rate beat up. We gotta get these muscles ready. We can't just jump into action without having prior practice, without having a prior pre. I can't stress that enough. Okay. The alternating toe taps are also really good for getting your mind ready to focus because you're balancing out your body. You have to keep that balance. And how do you keep that balance going? Through focusing your mind on the workout, focusing on exactly what it is that you're doing in that present moment. Now we're getting ready to start the workout. Who's ready? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm pumped, I'm pre-worked out, my heart rate is up. Let's get it. So we're gonna start working out with some weights, starting the workout with seated leg curls, 30 pounds, 15 repetitions. 
and this will be part of two sets of workouts. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, get these legs ready, get this booty ready, get this body ready. Breathe in, breathe out. The next exercise that is part of this set is seated leg extensions. I'm putting the weight at 40 pounds and going for 15 repetitions. So seated leg extensions work out the front part of your quads. You know, I'm not a trainer. I've been working out for a long time. I've been working out since I was 16, 17. That's when I started. And again, everything I do is through learning from amazing trainers I've trained with, learning through amazing videos I've seen, my own research, my own study, and of course my own training and what works in my body. So I can assure you that these work and you'll feel it. Back to our seated leg curls. This is our second set, last set, 15 repetitions, going up on weight to 40 pounds. We got this. These are easy and they do the work. That's what matters, that they do the work. And let's not forget our water because we got to keep these muscles hydrated. You don't want to get these muscles hurt because you're dehydrated. So drink up, drink up, take a break, 20 second break, breathe, drink some water and let's move on. See the leg extensions, last set, this is our second one. We're going up on weight, 50 pounds, 15 repetitions, oof, my gosh. Feeling so good already. Come on, I'm ready to go dancing now. These quads are about to be as strong as the rock. Where's the rock? <laughs> Our next one is leg presses. 60 pounds, 15 repetitions. Okay, personally, this to me is a breezy, cute squat exercise. When you just wanna breeze through it, get the booty working without having to stand up. You know what I mean? You know, I'm not gonna say that word, L-A-Z-Y. No, we're not using that here, cause no, but it's an easier one, okay? But don't worry, don't worry, we got the squats coming too, so get ready with this. This is our pre-squat. Ba, ba, mm -hmm, mm, da, da. Yeah, we got this. Come on. It's working out the booty. It's working out the legs. It's giving power. Moving to our second exercise on this two-set workout. Stationary lunges. 10 pounds dumbbells on each side. Total 20 pounds. You can use as much as you want. This is what I'm using. 15 repetitions. Okay, lunges are one of my least favorite to do, but you know they get that booty working. Going up, squeeze that booty. Yes, squeeze. Get that back straight and focus on the goal, baby. You got this. What is the goal right now in this present moment? What is the goal? Focus on it. You got this. I see you. I see you. I see myself too. I'm doing it. You're doing it. And we're doing it. You got this, come on, I wanna see it. Quick water break, cause we don't want dehydration to get in the way of those gains, absolutely not. Let's not forget the most important part of this whole thing right here, to feel ourselves during the workout. Because if you're not feeling yourself, 
then it's not worth it. You got to feel yourself through each step. Got to have a quick photo break because everything is currently snatched. Back to the seated leg press going up to 80 pounds because we can, period, because we can. This is our last set from the two sets here. Focus on what it is that you want to accomplish with each exercise. Keep your mind in the game. Focus on the goal to achieve the goal. Oh my God. Is that sounding annoying? Because I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what? I'm just trying to keep us motivated here because it's true. Like you got to keep your mind in the game. Focus on the goal to achieve the goal. Let's get these 15 reps right. Let's make it worth it. Let's make it worth our time. Because a lot of people don't want to be here right now, right? But we want to be here right now because we know what our end goal is. Back to the lunges. Our last set from the two sets. 15 repetitions each leg. Keep it at 20 pounds total, 10 pounds each dumbbell. We got this. Squeeze that booty and legs when you go up. Don't forget to squeeze that booty and legs when you go up. Going up, squeeze that booty. Yes, squeeze. Get that back straight. You got this. I'm doing 20 pounds, 15 repetitions. This machine honestly is so cool. This is my like second time using it ever. I really like it. And let me tell you, you will feel the abs burning. Look at how the abs are getting defined already. Come on, like let's get it. Breathe in, breathe out through each movement and focus on those toned abs. What is it that we want to manifest right now in this present moment? <laughs> we want to manifest the toned abs. So that's what we want to focus on. You're a beast, cutie pie. Keep moving because you got this. Look at the definition. It's coming through. It's coming through. And make sure that you do this exercise slowly. Take your time. Step ups with leg extensions. We're going for 15 repetitions using 10 pound dumbbells, 20 pounds in total. This is our second workout from these two sets. Adding in the leg extensions target lifting that booty up because what we want to do is get that booty up, right? With this, focus on your breathing. Squeeze the booty up and keep your back straight. This will all help with balance. Listen, we all got a fatty booty. We just want it to be up because that's what makes it look big, right? As long as the booty is standing up, it's going to look big. 
So make sure to target exercises like leg extensions that will push that booty up. Okay, let's take a quick water break. And while we're at it, let's take a quick phone break. Answering some cute texts. You don't gotta know who I'm texting. It's none of your business. Not right now. Maybe I'll tell you later. Gosh. And getting the work done, you know, like getting some work done. You never know, okay? Okay, back to it. Abs, 15 repetitions. Breathe, focus, squeeze the abs. Breathe in when going up. Squeeze and breathe out when going down. Almost there. Almost there. We got this. If it's burning, it's working. Do it slow. There's no rush with any of these workouts. Back to our leg extensions, 15 repetitions, 20 pounds total. Keeping the weight on the leg that is stationed, squeeze everything going up. Back straight, never back down, never what? Never back down, never what, Giovanna? Let's go. Squeeze, breathe, focus on the goal. Almost done. And we are done with this set. Yes, girl, you did that. Who did that? You did it. Next and last set, squats. What did I tell you? I told you we were coming back to squats. We're doing 15 repetitions, 20 pound dumbbell. Same thing here. Squeeze when going up, booty, legs, and abs squeezed. Keep that back straight and that booty out like you're about to sit. No, like you're about to sit on a chair, okay?
So keep that booty out and bring it up and squeeze it up. And you'll see that booty rise up, baby, because that's what we want, right? We want the booty to rise up because the fat is there. We all got that fatty. We just want it to be raised up. And on that number 15, make sure to bounce. Bounce it. Bounce, 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 bounce like a basketball. Bounce, bounce it. Straight to the jumping jacks, 30 repetitions. Fast, don't stop, get that heart rate up. I'm not a quitter, I never back down, never what? Never back down, never what? Never back down, never what? Whew. Come on now, punch somebody. Not No, punch the air, okay, the air. The air is gonna let you punch it, but nobody else. Okay, jump, 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 we got this. Get that booty squatting, back to the squats. 15 repetitions going strong. Back straight, arch that booty, arch it, arch it. Squeeze everything up, breathe in going up, breathe out going down. This is a good set because we're adding in the weights and adding in the cardio at the same time. So we're getting that heart rate up towards the end of the exercise and also adding in some weights to finish it up and getting that nice shape on our booty, our body, our legs. Let's go. Bounce it, bounce, 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 bounce. Now jump, jumping jacks, let's go. 30 repetitions, last set, almost there. Think about how fabulous and powerful you'll feel after that workout is completed. I am so proud of you, honestly, like, wow. You killed that, you murdered that so beautifully, so powerful, so oof. Come on, like you killed that, I'm so proud of you. Yes, and we are done, absolutely great. Let me go shower and eat. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I had a great time, I overdid it a little bit. All good, bye.